Soon after the British acquisition of Hong Kong Island, manufacturing started to develop. At the beginning of the colonial era, these factories were mainly limited to shipbuilding. More light industry factories were found when Chinese capitalists arrived, introducing modern management into industrial enterprises. The 1920s and 30s saw the initial rise of the city's manufacturing. However, during the Japanese occupation, many factories were destroyed. Industrial production came to a virtual standstill. After World War II, many factory owners returned, and manufacturing quickly recovered. The Chinese Civil War led to an exodus of migrants. Industrialists relocated in Hong Kong with skilled labor, technology, and capital. The 1950s witnessed the city's transition from an entrepot to a manufacturing-based economy. Hong Kong industry celebrated its heyday in the 1970s. Made in Hong Kong became an internationally recognized brand. The reform and opening up marked a new era for Hong Kong's economy. In the 1980s, as most factories relocated to the Pearl River Delta, Hong Kong companies turned to management activities, forming a model of front shop, back factory. By the mid-1990s, Hong Kong's economic structure had shifted to a highly service-based industry. The status of manufacturing declined. The share of Hong Kong's local manufacturing in GDP significantly dropped. During this period, most of the manufacturers that moved to the Chinese mainland have yet to shake off the processing trade-based model. Meanwhile, the other three Asian tigers, Singapore, Taiwan, and South Korea, have focused on the development of high-tech industries. Industry 4.0 is here now. The Hong Kong government has been promoting reindustrialization in recent years. The goal is to develop high-value added and less land-intensive manufacturing industries. A global manufacturing technology revolution is gaining momentum. Will Made in Hong Kong stand out again?